Lubaba TV. Welcome. And this is another good day that we are in our new session that we make stories with foreigners who visit our beautiful country, Tanzania. I mean, Tanzania to know some few things concerning them, but also to know why they, int they are interested to come here and not select another country. So, in front of you here, I have my brother. We'll be making some stories and to see some stuff. First of all, brother, we would like you to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Sami. I come from France with my wife who is besides and we decide to travel to Tanzania to a lot of places in a, in a different way from tourists. So, Asante Sana. Karibu Sana. Uh, first thing I would like to know, is, have you ever visited another African country or oh, Tanzania is your first country to visit in Africa? When I was small, I have been with my family to Senegal for one month, but it was totally different from Tanzania because I was small and it's a different country. Ah, so this is your next uh, African country to visit. Yeah. And so far, why did you choose, you and your wife, why did you choose to come and visit Tanzania and not other countries? Because first of all, uh, we were at the Reunion Islands and we wanted to leave the Reunion Islands, but not with plane. So we were looking for a boat and we found someone in Mayotte who was sailing to Tanzania. So we cheated a little bit and we took a plane from Reunion to Mayotte. Then we took a ship, a sailor ship, a sailor boat, for four days and then we arrived in Tanzania. But it was not planned at all at the beginning. So you didn't come with Spain, you just came with the ship? We came with the ship, yeah. Ah, sure. Can you give us a retro experience? Because this is the new thing that I hear. Is, how can you give us a retro experience about how the ship went, the journey itself? It was wonderful. It was difficult, but it was wonderful. Like uh, uh, for four days, you just have the sea, and you don't have lands around you, and you're just sailing, sailing. And in the night, it was the best view, the best sky we ever saw. And you have all the waves, and yeah. So in the ship, you were alone, or it was just doing that business to take people from my to here, or you just came, just like you two. Uh, no, we were five on the on the boat. There was my wife Maria. There was me. There was Johnny, the sailor. There was his friends, Patrice, and another girl. Hope you, yeah. had, a, you had a very good time that time. Yeah. So I would also like to know when did you come in Tanzania, and so far, how many places have you visited in Tanzania? We arrived in Tanzania maybe one month and a half, almost one month and a half uh, past, and we arrived in Mtwara. We, like everywhere we go, we say, okay, maybe we're gonna stay there one day. If we like, we stay two days, and in Mtwara, we stay almost one week because we liked it. After we went to Kilwa Masoko, Kilwa Kisiwani, we stayed sometimes. We went to Dar es Salaam after Zanzibar come back to Dar es Salaam after we take the long train to go to from Dar es Salaam to Arusha uh, from Arusha to Moshi then back Arusha and then we arrive here ah, sure. yeah. and are you planning your your travel or how can I know why you, how do you plan your travel that you know you come from here then you go from there or how is it happening uh, our best plan is Google map we watch on Google map and then we want to go there, okay, no, we will not go there, yeah, we'll go there. And by speaking with people also, like an example, we spoke with you, you told us there is a ferry, now we'll take the ferry and we'll go, thanks to you. We don't have a factory plan, so you want to explore the real yeah. experience. Yeah. And other thing I would also like to know, you said you, you, you have been only in Tanzania for, I mean, when you, you were grown up. Uh, how did you, how did it come and you know Tanzania? How did you know Tanzania for the first time? Uh, for me, I knew Tanzania, but I didn't know exactly about the culture and the people and everything. I just knew it was on the map and 
uh, I had no expectations at all because I had no ideas but I didn't know there was safari there is uh, uh, big cities there is smaller city like Kilwa Kisiwani was Smallest. yeah a small island and it, it was great and I didn't know I think you cannot uh, see the culture of a land and the people until you go there sure, sure. yeah so we discover by going there uh, and do you plan to stay more in Tanzania or what's the next plan? Yeah, yeah, we plan to, st to stay some more in Tanzania. I hope we live there. We have to see with you if we can stay for one year or two years. And uh, yeah, yeah, we plan to stay and to move. What we like is take train, buses, go to uh, strange places, small places. So yeah. And you have said you have been in Tanzania now for at least many days now. Yeah. So far, and I have seen you have visited a lot of places, Kilwa Masoko, Mwanza, and stuff, stuff like that. So far, what is your favorite place in Tanzania? For me, the favorite place was because we arrived there and it was a discovery, it was Mtwara, because we met kind people. We discovered the uh, Tanzanian culture directly by Mtwara. So it was a beautiful place and you have uh, Psongaku, which is a small island. Mm -hmm. And we went there and uh, and there was not that much tourists. So we enjoyed, we, we felt we'd be up, uh, on the city, not a part of the city. Sure, sure. So yeah. you really have the genuine experience. Yeah. And so far, I know everything you are doing in the drive, everywhere you go, you must face some challenges. I would also like to know what was the biggest challenge in your journey to Tanzania and your lives in Tanzania? That's a good question. Uh, I, feel, I think for me the most difficult is to understand the sentence and the mindset of Pole Pole, mm -hmm. because where we come from, like I mean in France, in Europe, and a lot of places, we don't know what it means by words and by the, the mind. So the biggest challenge is to understand what does it mean, Pole Pole, for the body and the soul. I have also get that. So everything you do, you have to think of Pole Pole. Yeah. Like I, I will use that principle in life also. <laughs> And lastly, also I would like to, because when you come then you have something to share or you have anything that you like people to know. So this is a chance then to say anything or to, to advise anything or to just say anything that you wish to say. Don't have too much, when you travel, don't have too much expectation and live like daily. There's a good sentence for it. Like before I leave, a good friend, I ask advices in France, a friend of mine, what advice will you give to me? And this friend gave me the best advice. I thought it was bullshit advice, but he told me just carpe diem, like day for day, day by day. Day by day. And yeah, carpe diem and pole pole, and it's the good mix. Sure. Thank you for your time, brother. For sure, we had good time and I really enjoyed to speak with you. We shared some good things and stuff like that. So, welcome in Tanzania. Have a nice day in Tanzania. And even if it's possible, you, are, you have to live here in Tanzania, right? Yeah. Uh, in Mtuara, we met someone who was really, really nice. It was Gerd, and it's a Muzungu that lives in Tanzania. So, if he can make it, Anyone can make it and I say hi to God and I hope your son is coming soon and thank you for everything and thank you Merci, thank you well. merci beaucoup Merci <laughs> Merci beaucoup Asante sana Asante sana So thank you for your time and this was the good session that we had we had some good stories brother here we shared some stuffs hope you got something and you knew something that you didn't know before so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell but also don't forget to tell your face also to have the good session like this i'm iman nubaba and this is baba tv till next time ciao